In this video, I will show you how to use the Beehive website builder. So as you can see right here, I am in the Beehive website and one of their main features is actually the website right here. Now most people only use the newsletter, but the website builder is surprisingly good and I'll show you exactly how you can use it. So basically their websites are a home base for your content and readers. So it's sort of a blog website where you can kind of add in blog posts and I'll show you exactly how you can use this. Now as you can see here at the top, thank you for considering Beehive. You've been referred by me which makes you eligible for 20% off your first three months of our paid plans after a complimentary 30-day free trial so if you want to claim this 30-day free trial and get 20% off for your first three months you can use the link down in the description to get to the beehive page right here and then click on launch a newsletter now we actually want to create a website but you still want to click right here now in order to get started you want to enter your first and last name email and confirm your email and now you need to go and confirm your email email address so an email has been sent with a link in it and you just want to go and open up that link then it will be confirming your sign up and you need to wait for a couple of seconds and now you will get to the onboarding so to ask welcome we are going to get you set up first off what's your current newsletter experience for example I will say newbie and click continue and now here you will enter your newsletter name your subdomain and you want to add any tags now here you can also go and upload an image so kind of your logo then click on continue now here what you want to go and do is click on start free trial and then you will get to the dashboard right here just click close and now here in the dashboard what we are going to do is head over to the website builder since we are first going to create our website and that is what this video is about so right here we are in the website builder now you can see right here in the top you have the home page you have a sign up page and the upgrade page and then you can also add in any custom pages so basically on this home page right here you will find archived newsletters so basically newsletters that have been sent previously so the website kind of serves as a library of all of your newsletters now what i recommend you do first is to go through the styles right here then upload your logo and i have already done that now your global colors so just choose your main colors so the primary color right here for example if you change this to blue you will then see that these buttons right here become blue now you have a font color right here so just go ahead and choose all of your colors then move on to the typography so choose your font then the radius and shadows right here so you can add a border radius and shadow then your global navigation is at the top you have a navigation bar so right now right here it says login and then you can just choose the colors and you also have different templates so you can see if i switch between these templates then it kind of changes the way it looks for example right here you can see that the logo and name is at the top left and if i pick this one and if i pick this one it's in the middle so just find the one you like most and then go back here and just do the same for the subscribe widget the post styles and the global footer then once you have done this go to your layout and here you will have your actual sections so first you have your global navigation layout so when you click on it you will see this right here so you can show a login button so that's right there if you want people to be able to log into an account or create an account then you have navigation menu group so you can add menu items so then they can navigate to a specific page and you have a couple more things you can add right here then you have the hero section so you have a sign up widget right here which is this thing and you can see that we can change the way that that looks as well now i like the default one so i'll keep that one now you can upload a background image or you can choose a background color right here for example if I choose this you will then see that the background becomes yellow so just go and choose all of the settings that you want right here and basically you want to do those same things for the post section the site widget section and the archive section now the archive section is where you will actually see your blog posts or your newsletters so I'll just create a newsletter right here so that it actually shows something but basically once you're done you can also preview it on mobile or on full screen but basically you just want to click publish homepage right here and then it is published now you want to do the same for the sign up page right here so you can go and edit this page and the upgrade page now this is a premium setting so toggle on the premium subscriber settings from the beehive settings page if you want to use this <coughs> but for now i'll just create a newsletter so that it actually shows up in the archive here and i can show it to you so i've now created my first newsletter right here just as an example and now when i head over to my website builder you will now see that email right here so newsletter number one and this is the one that i just published so basically Basically, all of your newsletters will show up here on the email and when you toggle on example site right here you can basically see what your exact site would look like once you have some more posts so click example site here and now you can see this is an example site for this brand right here then you can see written by all of these authors and basically you can see all of their featured posts right here then you have their archive and people will be able to search in the archive you can add categories as you can see right there and people will be able to actually join the email list right there so right here is 
is my example so you can enter your email and I'll just click publish and give you a preview of this actual website. So here in the address bar you have the link to your page so I'll just open this up in an incognito tab right here and now you can see that this is actually live and now people can enter their email and then once you click right here you can see they have now been subscribed although it doesn't have any text right here so you want to go and change that and the reason that for me it has no text is because I think I chose the same color for the text as for the bottom. So if I head over to global colors you will now see the primary font color here if I change this to white then you will see that usually it says subscribe so therefore I couldn't see it but usually it will look like this. So now if you want to go and add your custom domain to your website what you need to do is go to settings right here and then here click on publication and now from here click on domains now here you have your web domain so this is your URL now you can click update URL and then change the website URL but if you actually want a custom domain so not .beehive.com you want to click here add custom domain and follow these steps here now when we head back over to the website builder and then click settings you can then here add your meta pixel your x pixel any other type of pixel you can do the SEO you have your social links so you can add your Facebook Instagram YouTube etc now for the email capture right here you can select how you want to capture the email gated or pop-up or none now you can add a comment section to your posts to your posts you can add more security you have static pages and you can do a theme reset so now when a person enters their email through your website it will take a little bit of time but they will be added to your subscribers right here because they are subscribing to your email list so now you know how to use the beehive website builder and again if you want to save 20% on your first three months subscription after your 30 day free trial you can use the link down in the description to sign up to beehive if this video was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel with that being said i will see you in the next video